Hello and welcome to the SysCard tutorial videos. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to tell you about two settings, sitemap settings and upgrade settings. Let's roll! First we are going to speak about the sitemap. Let me show you where the sitemap is located in SysCard. By default of course. Ok, this is the sitemap. Sitemap is the page that contains all the links to all the categories and uh, all the pages in your store. This page is uh, really useful for SEO and it's really helpful to have all the links to all the pages on every page. I mean, sitemap uh, gives an access to all these links. At the sitemap page, the information is divided into two groups site info and catalog. Catalog contains uh, the categories that are available at the store and site info contains the information that is not related um, to products like common information and my account profile and so on all right now let's go to the settings page sitemap settings can be found in settings sitemap uh, by the way take a look here uh, this is our next topic for today's video all right Let's move to the site. On the settings page, we have three settings. Show the categories section, show only root level categories links in the categories section and uh, show the site info section. Okay, uh, the first two are about catalog group. Show the categories section. I think that's clear. If you disable it, the categories won't be uh, displayed. Let me demonstrate to you this instead. We are back at the sitemap page and I will refresh the page. As you can see now, uh, we have only a root level of uh, categories, electronics, sports and outdoors and so on. Like um, in electronics section, TVs, desktops, laptops are not displayed any longer. Let's go back to the settings page. Show the site info section. Well, if you disable it, the site info section will not be displayed. Uh, there is one more thing we can do about uh, sitemap. We can modify it. For this we need to go to website, sitemap. On this page you can edit already existing sections of the sitemap, like my account. We can add more fields here and more links. And also uh, we can add the new sections. Uh, you just need to make up a name for it and uh, add links for the um, pages. That's all. Uh, by the way, one more thing about SEO. If we go here as EO rules, on this page we can find SEO name for the sitemap. Yeah, here we have the dispatch value and here we have a name. You can change it or delete it. That's it about sitemap. Uh, now let's take a look at the upgrade settings. Okay, settings, upgrade. First here is a license number. To get upgrades you need a license number. So that means that you will have to buy this card. Without license number there is no upgrade. And the second section here is FTP server options. What do they do? These options give your site, I mean like your store, an access to the server where the upgrades are stored. If you enter your host name username, I mean the person who will be responsible for the upgrades, password and write the directory for the upgrades, upgrades will be uploaded and installed automatically. So there will be no fuss about it, no sweat. If you don't do this, you have to upgrade your system manually. For this you need to go to administration, upgrade center. Yeah, uh, no upgrades currently available. On the next tab installed upgrades, you can see the history of your upgrades. And also, as I spoke before about manually, you can push this button, upload upgrade package and do it manually from the local source, from the server or by URL. That's it for today. Remember that the sitemap and the upgrade center are powerful tools that help you to keep up with the genesis. Thanks for watching and see you in the next SysCard tutorial videos.